Hi, I'm Jen and welcome to Tasty Memories. This is the last episode of season three, but it is the beginning of the brand new year. And if you're feeling like you need a break from all that heavy holiday food, this fennel and grapefruit winter salad is the perfect thing to wake you up and make you feel fresh, not like a little bear that's been hibernating in a cave because it's eating too many cheese and cookies and cakes and gravy and a little crystal. <laughs> salad is so easy to put together. The flavor combination of fennel and grapefruit works so well together. And I made this first like a few years ago. And the first time I made it, I made it every single day for a week. I loved it that much. And then I pretty much never had it again. But I was craving it today, so I'm gonna make that. The first thing you're gonna have to do is prep your fennel. So if you've never had fennel before, it kind of has this mildly sweet licorice anise flavor. And if you're someone like me who hates licorice, do not worry, it does not taste like the candy. It's very, very delicious. The first thing you're gonna do is cut them off. Keep that for later. And then we're going to trim off that base there. There we go. And then you will see sort of this core there. We're gonna take that out. Now before that, you're gonna look and inspect the outside. If it looks kind of damaged like this, usually you can take a vegetable peeler and just kind of go at it. But if it's too much, then you're just gonna take off the whole leaf like this. Okay, then you're left with a nice clean fennel right down the center. And there you will see that core. If it's a little like this, I would usually just leave it. Um, but if you wanna take it out, cause it's kind of hard, just kind of make a triangular cut and it pops out like that. And we're gonna turn it this way so you see those nice rings and we're gonna cut them relatively thin, almost transparent. You can do this with a mandolin, but I had a recent accident with one on Thanksgiving. So I'm not gonna do that. For the grapefruit, we're gonna cut them into little segments. Now the first step is to peel them. So you're gonna take the bottom, slice that off so you have that, a flat working surface. Same thing to their side, like this. And then you're going to cut around the curve of the fruit to remove the peel. Try not to remove too much of the, um, the flesh, but this bitter part you wanna remove. If you have any of the pith left over, just go back and slice them off. Now over a bowl so they can catch all the juices because you don't want to lose any of that, we're going to cut little segments out of these sort of membranes here. I don't know what I'm talking about, but just look. <laughs> see a nice clean segment there. You keep going, you'll see those little divides. Just keep cutting them out and working your way around. Now with the rest of this, just follow your primal instinct and squeeze the life out of it. All that essence, that beautiful juice is gonna flavor this incredible dressing. Emulsify, emulsify. Yeah. Now in a pan, medium heat, gonna toast up some walnuts for a bit of crunch. Now you know they're ready when they smell nice and nutty, of course, but be sure not to burn them. So together with the fennel and the grapefruit, I'm adding a little over a handful of um, mixed greens. You can use just arugula, it's really nice too. I'm gonna drizzle just a little of our dressing and then crumple in our toasted walnuts. Yummy. Then give it a hand mix. Get everything all flavored up. And you are ready to eat. <sighs> it smells so fresh. Can't wait to put this in my mouth. Mmm. 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 
a burst of juice and flavor from the grapefruit and that slight licorice taste of the um, fennel. Mm. And that dressing, bam, all together, happiness in my mouth. Mm. I'm no longer hibernating little bear. This is so delicious. I hope you guys give this a try. And um, let us know if you make it. Use hashtag Just Eat Life. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time for season four. Bye.